Hey guys, it's Kevin, State and Co. Truck Insurance. In today's video, we'll talk about top five trucking insurance companies for new ventures. And when I say new ventures, I mean that um, you have not had your MC number, your authority active in the past, because many times truckers confuse and say, well, I've been driving for Walmart for 20 years. I have 20 years CDL experience, which is great. It's going to help you to have a better insurance rate. But when it comes to um, being, you know, considered as running your own business, that's not going to count. And even if you were leased under somebody else's authority and running under somebody else's MC number, that's not going to count. That's when you get your own MC number, you get your own authority and you start shopping for the insurance and you need that million dollar coverage, 100,000 liability and physical damage going on your own. Those are the five companies that I recommend and based on the state where you're located uh, might be, you know, different options, but those five companies that um, I chose, they are pretty much in all 48 states. I don't know it for a fact because we write insurance in only 18 different states and without any delays, let get in, let's get into the first one on the list, which would be progressive insurance. They're the biggest and the most known trucking insurance company in the industry. Some truckers hate Progressive because past experiences or something didn't work out or they owe money to Progressive. I actually created a whole video about the reasons why truckers don't like Progressive. But overall, they're a pretty good insurance company to work with. They will quote anybody. And when I say anybody, I mean that even if you have your CDL for one week, and you have um, 15, I mean, I wouldn't say 15, but let's say you have three violations and at fault accident, Progressive will quote you. The price might be crazy. I've seen as high as 40,000, 50,000 per truck per year because you know somebody has a bad driving record, at fault accidents. They also pull and, and do soft credit inquiries. So if you have a couple potential owners, always pick the one who's got you know the best possible credit because uh, Progressive will do that inquiry. They don't need social number, uh, doesn't show up on your credit report, does not take any points, but based on the name, address, and date of birth, they will see what is your credit score and that also plays into uh, pricing consideration. But they'll ensure, like I said, anybody, Good driving record, bad driving record, in-state license, out-of-state license, 10-year CDL, 10-week CDL experience. Uh, Price-wise, it can be anywhere from 15000 per year up to 50000 per year, depending on all those factors mentioned above. As far as the down payment, they typically want anywhere from 17 to 20% down. And then they give a payment plan where it's 9 or 10 payments, which means the last month or the last two months, would be no payments. So if you got a quote with him, if you talk to 10 different agents, chances are you will get 10 different progressive quotes uh, because they are one of the biggest and like I said, the largest and everybody writes trucking insurance with them. And price wise, again, they can be pretty decent. If, if, if you have, if you check all the boxes where you know, you meet their criteria, I've seen for new ventures prices as low as 15,000 per year based on the state where your business is located. The next one on the list is Prime Insurance. Prime, they will not care about your credit score, but Prime will take additional collateral. That's one of the um, big nuances with them is that uh, in addition to 25% down payment, they need $2,500 collateral for any potential claims or accidents down the road. They will write um, drivers with less than two years CDL experience. They will write drivers with um, accidents or violations. Price-wise, typically they are more expensive than progressive. And from experience, I can tell you if you're being quoted with prime insurance is because probably you already had some bad history with progressive and just don't want to even consider them. And yeah, prime can be a good option. And by the way, the insurance companies that I'm talking about, they're all A-rated. So all five companies that I'll, I'll share here, they meet uh, all the broker requirements and you will not have any issues to book loads with those insurance companies. 
The next one on the list is Berkshire Hathaway Home State Company. They're affiliate of Geico Insurance, so Geico is for consumers, Berkshire is for commercial truckers. They also have our sister companies, National Indemnity, Milepost, and by Berk. Um, those are all under Berkshire uh, conglomerate, under their umbrella. And But they have some specific requirements. Price-wise, they can be pretty good, especially for box trucks. I've seen where um, they would even be progressive. But uh, one of the nuances is that for the Berkshire, the drivers have to be in-state drivers. Meaning, if your company is based in Georgia, the drivers have to be with Georgia CDLs or licenses if it's a box truck. They will not accept any out-of-state drivers. So make sure that if you're quoted with Berkshire, just say, hey, you know, ask the agent, say, hey, if I'm going to be hiring somebody who's from Kansas, can I add them later on? And I guarantee you the answer is no, because they do not even consider that. Uh, unless that driver is looking to relocate and switch their license to a local Georgia state license. And the reason they do that is because um, they expect that, you know, the local state truckers, they'll come to the home base more often. And as a business owner, you will be able to check and inspect, inspect their truck, you know, make sure the maintenance is done more often versus if that driver is across the country in Texas or California. When it comes to CDL experience, uh, in most states, they need at least six months, but in some states, they will accept drivers with even less than six months CDL. Violations, at fault accidents, it's acceptable, but it's all gonna be reflected in the price. And when it comes to overall pricing, like I said, they can be in some cases a little bit more pricier, especially for you know general freight, you know reefers or flatbeds, but they're pretty competitive for box trucks. But again, case by case, I've seen a little bit of everything where sometimes Berkshire beats progressive. So it's worth to give a shot with them. The number four on the list is Everspan Insurance. Everspan, price-wise, they're probably one of the best ones for the new ventures. I've seen their quotes in that $12,000, $15,000 range per truck. And when I you know, mentioned those quotes, I'm talking about the 18 wheelers, tractor trailers, you know, the million dollar policy, 100,000 cargo, you know, physical damage, maybe 20,000 value, <coughs> excuse me. Everspan needs at least two years CDL experience. And that's without any questions. If you have 12, I mean, 18 months, 20 months, you have to wait a couple of months until you qualify for Everspan. If you don't meet that two year CDL mark, it's a no go. They are also pretty big sticklers when it comes to violations. If you have at least one major violation, Everspan will not accept you. And those could be speeding over 20 miles per hour, um, not you know reckless driving, texting while driving, DUI. Those would be examples of major violations. They will accept one minor violation. At fault accidents, also a no-go. So Everspan, price-wise, Pretty good company, down payment. They're usually good with, you know, I've seen as low as 10, 15% down. They'll do a 10 to 11 pay plan. Payment wise, if you qualify for Everspan, you'll probably be in the best, best situation. Uh, but then again, not everybody usually qualifies for Everspan. And the last one on the list is Night Specialty. Everspan and Night Specialty are quoted through uh, same MGA. And because of that, I mean, in different states, you might get, in one state, you might get Everspan. In other state, it's going to be Night Specialty. Requirements are the same. Two-year CDL experience, no major violations, one minor violation, no at-fault accidents. Price-wise, both are pretty good companies. Both are A-rated, easy to work with. And if your agent does not have access and options to the ones I mentioned, Prime Insurance, Berkshire, Everspan, and Night Specialty, that's when you can just you know, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to quote you. And um, any comments or suggestions would be appreciated. Please stay tuned. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.